Right, so the purpose of this video really is just to show you how to install the studio effects presets that come with the producer series packs from Neutron Audio. We've got um, different packs, but the instructions will be the same for everyone. So if you follow this one, in this example, we're using the John Mayer pack, but the process is the same for all of them. So you can re reference this video whenever you want to install these. First thing you're going to want to do is install the plugin itself, and the instructions to do that are provided by the manufacturer impulse record and we're going to put the links to those instructions down in the comment section below that you can follow to get yourself to the point where you have Bombology XT installed and then if you pick up here after that we'll explain how you install our presets and maybe some other information about them that's interesting or useful so if you look at my screen you can see uh, I already have the Bombology XT plugin installed there are a couple of settings that you're going to want to make on here before you begin, uh, just to make things easier as we go through the process, the first and most important one is in the preferences menu here, where you're gonna to wanna to turn on zero latency. If you don't turn this on, then you're gonna hear a delay between you playing a note and it coming out of the speaker, and that's not great if you're using it to play guitar or anything else really. So make sure you put that on zero latency and set the block size to 64. If you read the instructions here, it does actually say the most efficient zero latency setting is a block size of 64. So that's what they recommend. And we concur that that works the best. So put those two things on before you start and you won't have any extra delay added by the plugin, which is nice. Next thing I would suggest you do is select the image tab and that'll become obvious in a minute as to why I'll show you when you've managed to get things set up properly. You'll see an image here showing the name uh, of the pack that the effects you're installing are from. And when you've got it working, the image will show up here to validate that. So first thing you're going to want to do is browse using import user presets to the location where you've extracted your producer series pack. And specifically, if we go into that, okay, and GMC. So there's a folder here called effects. The profiles one contains all the neural app modeler profiles. You've got your PDF with the instructions, which it does include this information as well if you want to reference it visually on there. But if you follow this, you shouldn't need to. Go into the effects folder and you're looking for a presets file, which is the name of the pack. So PS-JMC in this case, the John Mayer continuum and dot neutron. The dot neutron file is the one that contains these presets. So if you open that by selecting it and pressing open, you're going to be asked if you want to keep or replace existing presets. You want to replace them if they exist. And then you'll see here in the right hand side under user, pre user presets, the presets for this pack will appear in name, although they won't work yet because you need to associate them with the effect file. The, impulse response in this case that is producing the reverbs and the delays and other things that are going on. So we start, they're all the same process, but we'll do all four just to show you the process and how quick it can be when you know what you're doing. You select one here and you'll see that it shows you the name of that preset as well up here next to the big power button. Just as a reference, that'll be useful in a minute because once you've selected the one you wanna associate with its correct file, you go to the file browser, you're already in the folder, because we browsed there to open the presets file uh, where these are. All you do is you find the one that has the same name as is shown up here. So Vulture's Verb in this case, you select it. Now you can see the image and you press save. Then that preset is created completely ready to use. In order to do the another, no, another one, all you have to do is exactly the same process again. Select it from the list here, go to the file browser, if you forget which one you selected, it's visible at the top next to this power button. Grab verb in this case for gravity, select it and hit save. That's all you're gonna do for every one of these presets, super easy. So we go back again, select the next one. Shouldn't need to tell you it in the rate this time. Go to the file browser, remind yourself of the name, select it from the list, hit save. One last time, user presets, 
Slow dancing in a burning room is what that stands for, in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Go to file browser, select, press save. So now we've done all of the files that are in this pack. They're all associated with their presets. The way that you can tell that that's worked, as I said, is now when you select them, you're going to see the image in the image tab, which is why we wanted to have that open. You're also going to see here the information about the file, which means it's reading it and everything's cool. So now these presets are ready for us to check out. So if we select gravity here, I'm going to first just turn this off, just so you can hear the dry signal again. I'm going to turn it on. Carrying straight away. And you can hear the these, and these are composite effects. And what I mean by that is that they can contain multiple reverbs and do, in fact, in most cases, and delays if they're relevant. Not, not always a delay, but if there is one on the song, then we'll put it in there too. So this is not like a normal impulse response of, uh, or a convolution reverb where it's like a single reverb, like one room or one effects unit preset or anything like that. This is actually can contain, do contain multiple reverbs, delays, all sorts of other stuff. And we're using a facility of Convology, which is that it has built-in modulation as well, which means that if yeah. there's chorus on a sound, so for belief, for yeah, example. I noticed that some had it on and some yeah, didn't. Uh, you'll see the modulation comes on, and we've got this configured as part of the sound, which is the reason why, in this case, also we have the mix set to 100%. That may not always be the case, but be careful changing the mix setting on our presets, because it has a function sometimes to enable the relative balance, if there are multiple delays and reverbs and other things going on, to be maintained. You have it set to anything other than what the preset contained, which in these cases is 100%, but it might be something different on another pack. So just be aware, whatever that percent is that the mix is set to in the preset, changing it is probably a bad idea for our presets because it will also then influence the sound of the modulation for you, because that's going to have a relative amount of dry signal to a wet signal, of course, which is fundamental to how a chorus will sound because it's a blend of the two. So ideally, don't change the mix settings if you want it to sound like the original uh, record did, which is what we're basing our presets on. If you don't care about that, of course, you can feel free to fiddle about. And if you look at the other video um, that we've linked from Impulse Record, that explains what all the controls do. And so you'll be able to follow that and then muck about with the sound and, and play about to maybe create something new and interesting of your own based off of these. So that's really it. We've got four presets that come with this pack. Uh, there are more than four profiles, and so that might be confusing. But honestly, it's really just because these are the only kind of four distinct effects that we are hearing on, on the album. Uh, he's John Mayer, in, in this case, he's quite a big fan of a particular reverb unit. The Bricasta unit that he uses a lot called the M7. Yep. So that's being utilized in a lot of these, and, and some of them are quite similar. Some have chorus, some don't have chorus, some have uh, like a room. So this one, for example, uh, sorry, the Vultures has a like a, a room reverb and the Bricasta on the same preset, and it's got a much more kind of bluesy. <laughs> Whereas the Gravity one, uh, again, like the song on the on the album, it's much more of a kind of simple. Nice long reverb tail that um, very different again to that kind of bluesy vibe, almost sort of a Clapton-esque that the Vultures one has. Belief uh, has a bit of chorus going on as well. Can you just, More reverb. Can you go back to the gravity and do the before and after? On that as well. So what you mean, turn it off? Yeah, yeah, because that's massive. Yeah, okay. So I mean, yeah, gravity is is. Uh... Turn it off. Turn it on. <laughs> a nice reverb. Yeah. He's got good taste. Yeah. Uh, so the other thing we have here is the slow dancing in the burning room one. And just to explain this, it's it's actually three reverbs at the same time. Uh, one of them is on the amp, and it's a spring reverb. And you can hear it's, it's kind of like a boingy noise. Can you hear that? Going on. Uh, that's just the way that the springs reverb sounds. 
But then also there's quite a big room that the amp is being recorded in and also the Bricasti as well. So it's quite a compound. You know. <laughs> going on there yeah. it's nice it's really yeah, yeah. really tasty yeah. um so that just demonstrates kind of how these effects can be lots of things in one and why these aren't standard impulse responses in that respect although yeah. they are they can be loaded in theory into any impulse response loader but we've chosen to deliver them for convology for two reasons one is that uh it's free mm. and that and it's available for mac and pc so it's a singular platform that we can develop uh presets for that everybody will have access to for free uh, and then the other reason is it's got the built-in modulation, which means that we don't have to then start moving into like multiple plugins to recreate sounds for the buyer. It's much more simple. They have a single place where they can get one effect preset that pretty much does everything. If we come across something we do in a future pack where it really needs a dedicated plugin, well, you know, we'll, maybe we'll add that a preset for that as well. But we're going to always try to make sure that those are free because part of, of the way that we want to work with these is to provide them as really kind of cost neutral cost neutral in terms of the platform at least you pay for the sound but you're not having to make big investment in you know lo loads of plugins and other bits of stuff and certainly not specific hardware or anything like that that's mm. not the principle that we're making them under so the idea is that if you use this plugin and you load the preset file that we provided you're going to hear exactly what we heard when we created that effect yeah makes it really easy there's no reason why you can't take these impulse responses and load them into anything yeah. you want but it's for us just to be able to deliver to you what we hear. So if we do a demo, for example, uh, on our website or on our YouTube video of one of these sounds and you hear effects, uh, those effects are going to be the ones that we include in the pack. So there's no kind of like, oh, well, you've made it sound better by you know, adding all this stuff. <laughs> because it's convolution reverb as well, yeah. we can absolutely capture and deliver any reverb we want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's one of the things that impulse responses do brilliantly. Unless it's nonlinear which is quite unusual in a reverb, but, um, you know, you can, we can make sure that we give you really authentic effects to yeah. go with the really authentic profile. And then yeah. the overall effect of that is something, you know, that sounds very much like the record, which is kind of the whole point of doing it in the first place. So hopefully that explains what's going on there. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll maybe include answers to them in future videos. We do like this. There's plenty of scope for us to do informationals on all sorts of stuff to do with these packs. So do leave your questions and we'll try and make sure they get addressed. All right. Anything else from you? No, I, I just found it great to put them on other things that I was doing. So taking them onto other, uh, other tools and just conphology <laughs> in general. There's some really, um, uh, there, there's a lot of things in there that you'll identify with and understand where that oh, sound has come from no, in the other space. Point. So yeah, we can quickly cover that. There are some factory presets in Conphology really nice, that yeah. you get with it. Yeah. Even the, the free version that, Quite honestly, it's, you should be downloading it just I mean, for this say, anyway. To say it's great like, value yeah, yeah, as, yeah. as a player, it's the best value. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as an impulse response player, it's fantastic. I mean, it's really good. It's got a lot of features that most of the others that are expensive don't have. Yeah. Uh, but it also comes with this kind of selection of bread and butter sounds that are really, really useful. And I'll show you a couple. Yeah. This is so cool. the basic layout here is from least to most expensive, I guess. I don't know, or exotic maybe. You've got these kind of basic units that simulate or impulses taken from kind of budget heroes from the past, things mm. that were not expensive, but were, were well used and well loved. Uh, then you've got some kind of in the middle ground, not expensive, but again, considered to be classics. Yeah. Uh, and then the pro units are the high, high value, expensive studio units, yeah. like the, the lexicon. And again, why, so the that's like... why the image tab is useful. I recommend you use it. Yeah. A lot. If you don't know what something is, it shows you a picture over here. And that's really quite, I mean, that's, quite useful. That's bucks. That's you go to Alexican, another place and you go and buy Alexican it. Alexican yeah. 4 ATL. Uh, You're going to hear that on so many records. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So and, and great sounding, right? So in this case, your mix control, you want to lower down because it's all reverb otherwise, and that sounds weird. But... Oh, straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why they get used a lot. That's beautiful. Uh, even now, you'll see people still using the 480. It's a classic. And then things like, yeah, your, your, your space echo and some yeah. old tape echoes and, and echoplexes. And Vintage German is interesting. Plate reverbs. 
uh, ah, a staple yeah. for guitar, particularly, yeah. which makes this plugin yeah. even nicer for guitar players because we get access to some of the classic I mean, plates we used on everything, but a lot of our guitars. Have, they've got short ones, they've got long ones, all kinds of stuff. And again, this is all in the free. This is turning into an advert for them, but I mean, yeah, rightly yeah. so, to be fair. <laughs> rightly so, to be giving this yeah. away free is really nice. We're not plugging it. No. We don't get any benefit. No, not at all, but, you know, at least we get you guys on yeah. a platform that we can deliver. Oh, boom to. town. Uh, what's this? Yeah, these are real spaces. Yeah, and some of those too. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting sounds. And of course, if you have an impulse response library already, you can load those up in here too. It's not exclusive for our presets or the included ones. You can load any convolution reverb in here that you want. And I don't know if you've seen, but recently there's been a lot of fuss about some new convolution reverb pedals that are being released. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of guitar players are discovering <laughs> convolution reverb as a concept for the first time only now. It's been around <laughs> for a long time. A long time, but uh, maybe not in an easy to consume yeah. format. So I think if you go looking for videos, I think it's the Verb, something like that. It's called Polly is the name of the company. And the pedal is called the Verb. Yeah. Lots of people making a big fuss about that. And it's really just because convolution reverbs are so true to what you capture that, of course, if you capture something really nice, yeah, that's going to sound really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that equally can work the other way around if you don't capture something nice. But this plugin itself, theoretically, doesn't really have a sound. It's, it's only playing back impulse responses that have been created. So in our case, it's perfect because we're not limited at all by what the plugin is capable of. We can bend the rules and have, you know, three reverbs and, and multiple delays and whatever we want. But, you know, the, the greatest sounding like TC electronic delay units and, you know, lexicon reverbs and anything yeah. that we need yeah. to perfectly recreate an original recording, we can then create an impulse response of that composite of everything together and deliver it as a preset, which I think is, is kind of unique. I don't know if I've seen that done anywhere else, but we certainly love the ability to do that because it means it gets into the hands of you guys the absolute best quality sounds that we can produce and there's no competition so so there we go rambling but yeah yeah uh, i think that shows you the, the power here and certainly should get you up and running pretty quickly yeah. setting up the presets really that that simple that yeah. was that was the first five minutes of the video but yeah uh, there you go so if you want to know more then as i said go to the website uh, there's information on there as well Obviously, leave us questions and comments, and we'll be happy to address those in future videos. And For now, yeah. and it members yeah. may potentially get cool stuff. Not this, but things like this in the future well, that I mean, may look, sit in there. To be to be frank, the yeah. effects part of these producer series packs is something that we actually added after they were released. Okay. So there's there's, you know, we're pretty flexible with the stuff. If we think of something that's going to add great value that we can, yeah bolt on we're going to be adding them i mean yeah, yeah. that's not it's not a guarantee but you know it's certainly something we've done already so there's no reason why you wouldn't see new effects presets popping up for packs that you already own yeah uh, and added value coming through at any point lovely lovely all of it yeah perfect so, but yeah you want to see anything let us know cool stuff free stuff have fun <laughs>